Stacey J. And I'm Chuck Duran. We have so <laughs> much fun planned for you guys today oh, on Via Plus Weekly. We have Fred Tatashore, the ah! incredible heart. Ah! <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Yeah, he's so great, and we have so much to talk about. He's a fellow New Yorker, too, so we got something Get down. Here. All right, we're going to go to Fred right now. I hope you're ready, okay? We have no idea where this is going, but I know it's going to be amazing. Crazy. Check it out. Our guest is a powerhouse in the industry, oh, no. and he has more than 250 video games to his incredible body of work. Hello. You know what? He has been the voice of the Hulk for more than 10 years, and he's been in movies, video Ugh. games, shows as the Hulk, like Hulk and the Agents of Smash, Avengers Assemble, mm -hmm. and so many other things. We just have to talk to him right now. I'm so excited to get buzzed with the incredible Fred Tatashore. Well, well, thank you so Yay! much for letting me be on your that incredible an, oh show. Gosh. That's the wonderful thank thing. You Probably being here. Don't kiss my hand. I'm going to kiss, kiss it. Oh kiss my it. God. Kiss I can't believe Fred kissed my hand. <laughs> He'll never wash it again. I know. Oh, dude, thank you. That's you are so freaking cool. No. Thank you. So, yeah, you are. And thank you so much for coming here and sharing with us, man. It's an honor. Uh, people out there right now are going out of their mind. They're so excited. Yes. Don't go out of um, your mind. We, <laughs> we have been bombarded with emails. Oh. No. People saying, "What are you going to have for a dad? Is your no. show? What are you going to have for?" So we've been trying to reach you it's for about a year and a half, <laughs> <laughs> and you finally returned the right. email. I'm good. No, no I'm learning good. how to write. It's that's the whole thing. It's no, just it's, trying to get it on all the works computer. Out. Pecker. I, I know you. Oh well. Anyway. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> on that so, note. <laughs> so, so, dude, Wait, listen. Man. Let's get now. Here's how this works, okay. Fred. Okay. We ask you questions. Okay. You answer them. Okay. There's no math. Is there going to be math? There's no math. No math. Okay. And if there is math, we'll give you a calculator or something you can use okay. your fingers. Mm -hmm. uh, I can be wrong. You could be okay. wrong. So no check this out. No one's gonna check. You're from New York. Two. Oh, right? Yeah, yeah, you're from, New York. from New York. True. You grew up around these showbiz your whole I life, did, right? I did. With your parents and all that stuff. So, was there any was there ever any doubt that you would end up in the entertainment business? No, I always wanted to do something in the arts. I didn't know what it was going to be. It's funny. I've always been doing voices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, yeah, it was it was it was interesting. My my mom was an actress who later became a therapist. Yeah. And uh, my <laughs> father was a producer. Worked at, at different shows. Yeah. They got divorced. My my dad remarried a, a fashion stylist, and and nice. they worked together on the Dinosaur Show. And my mom, nice. you know, did her own thing. And uh, it was. Um, it more in, in spirituality and psychology, and it was. Um, I've just always been into animation, acting, comedy, music, so that was kind of like it's. I've never veered yeah. from it. You know, most people yeah. fall into their profession. Yeah. This was one yeah. thing where I just was like, I really love doing this. My I, my dad. I, I actually got a tape player. A little recorder. Yeah. These were tapes that used to happen. <laughs> yeah, back we used in the to day. have tapes, exactly. Yeah. You know, air, they know about it. They air, have air, them too. Air, yeah, and I, uh, and I, as a kid, I used to just do voices and do little shows. And uh, it was really, that was my Were there, were my there like, like characters that you imitated Characters back then off the TV. Oh, Being oh. a latchkey kid, you know, you know, you watch stuff. You're yeah, like, yeah. hey, this is a great character. This is something off the TV. A did televangelist. You have, did you have favorite, did you like? favorite, favorite characters that you I didn't think about, I really didn't think about it like too much. I really got into the television. Evangelists and, uh, <laughs> and and Ronald Reagan was the president, and that was he was him. Well, he was a lot of fun to do. <laughs> I guess you can say anything as Ronald Reagan. Yeah. And um, well, I um, I just don't know. Yeah. You know, like it was <laughs> yeah, it was just fun to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but uh, uh, yeah, so I've always been into into doing this kind of thing. Yeah. Got into uh, you know, like I said, stand up comedy and. Uh, Music and then improv was the big thing for yeah. me, and then theater. Did study theater, and all along I was doing animation, uh, and so the two careers kind of collided. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. know. Because you draw too. Yeah, I right? do. I'm yeah. an I'm wow. an animator yeah. too. So and you're a, like multi freaking talent. Well, I told you I don't you know. Was I don't know about the freaking. <laughs> no, stage no, but you know I don't no do any. Of, I don't do any of it really well. So the point oh, is, yeah. is that yeah. oh, no, no. Yes. So the point is, is it was kind of. Um, it, yeah, it was kind of neat to have it all kind of come together That's and learn about man. animation. But now, animation and acting are very related. I mean, instead of uh, acting, you're saying, hey, it's great to see you. And animation, it's like, hey, 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 see you. You know, you're acting through your pencil. You're acting <laughs> right. through, right. you know, it's just in frames. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so cool, man. So when was, like, when was it that you... As far as animation and your whole voice and everything, when was the, that pinnacle moment that you were like, wow, I'm doing this? 
Uh, having a job with John Crixfalusi uh, after Ren and Stimpy, he had his own yeah. studios and he was doing uh, Slab and Ernie, this little internet cartoon, and I got to be uh, George Licker's nephews. And George ah. Licker, if many, many don't know, he was the owner of Ren and, Stimp, uh, Ren and Stimpy at one yeah, time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. George Licker, goddamn American, you know. And it was like, a, <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and I it was his like awful nephews. Yeah. And I thought, my God, this is so, so cool yeah, yeah, to yeah. work with this guy because this mm -hmm. guy was a hero of mine. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. That's really and it was cool. just like, wow. Okay. I yeah. mean, I'm doing this. And you know, wasn't making a living. I had other jobs at the yeah, time, yeah. but it was like, wow. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. Know. What were some of your survival jobs, Fred? Oh, uh, yeah. these are. I got these have to be good. <laughs> no, you know, God, survival jobs. <laughs> survival jobs. No. Well, well, my, well, the big one that really helped me out was working in an art department, and uh, I was just cleaning. Uh, this is not really that funny. It was just on these films where mm -hmm. this film that never actually got made, but I was cleaning up artwork, uh, uh, um, archiving images for this animation movie, mm -hmm. and then they let me do scratch work. Uh, oh, scratch nice. is when you're doing the yeah. voice before Absolutely. the qualified actor comes in, uh, and you know, and, yeah. and you yes. know, you're doing this, and uh, so that really helped me get through uh, mm -hmm. a lot. And then mm -hmm. other, I mean, in the past, I've had fun jobs delivering wine. Oh, uh, yeah, delivering yeah, wine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still have a truck, if you want. <laughs> you I, still yeah, have yeah, yeah, yeah. some wine. <laughs> I, I do. Sommelier on the go. <laughs> yeah, no, a terrible sommelier. Yeah. No, <laughs> destroyed that truck. No. Um, uh, uh, you know you're supposed to deliver it, not drink it. <laughs> he That's little, why I was fired. <laughs> he did a little of both. <laughs> That explains a lot. Thank you so much. You're um, no, and then I actually worked with my dad a lot. I was a pr production assistant everywhere. Yeah. You know, did everything. Yeah. You know, whatever they need. You know so you didn't is. wrestle alligators or anything like no, that? No, uh, I, I was Tony the Tiger once in a suit. That was fun. Oh, okay. hey there! For a great. Great party? No, it was. <laughs> it would have been better. <laughs> Some pitch thing. This I movie. Used to be animals and kids. I know. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. <laughs> Wearing those outfits are fantastic. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I've I've uh, oh, worked in restaurants. You know, the whole usual, mm -hmm. yeah. the usual thing. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Man. Worked uh, pasting. <laughs> worked it, w working with a lot of glue, pasting up images on oh. on, on cardboard. For, Did you inhale for, deeply? I didn't. The but rubber it, cement. It's, Still, it still has an effect if you're not careful. Anyone working with spray mount, please be careful. Yes, please. Um, it's yeah, no, it was uh, yeah, that was a, that was kind the of a cool. Wow. Yeah. So let me take you back a little bit. Do you remember? Okay, when you or first of all, let me ask you this: Do you do you still have to audition, or do they just call always. you? Always. In fact, always. that's all, all I do. <laughs> okay, good. That's all I do. I'm a professional He's auditioner. A professional yes, auditioner. That's all so, I do. So let's go back. Yes. How long have you been doing the Hulk? Ten years? Uh, almost. Almost I, ten years. Feel me think. What years? What what year are we in now? Yeah. So. You yes, can, you yeah. can about do math. Years. Okay, yeah. so hey, I can do math. I'm great at guessing. geometry. I just guess. Run by casa so, dodecahedron. Let's go back. That's the answer. <laughs> let's go back. I casa dodecahedron. No, um, no, I. Uh, let's go okay. back ten years. All right, Fred. Yes. <laughs> pay attention. To, let's go back ten years. Okay, when you got the audition yeah. for the Hulk. Okay. Uh, what happened? Did you come in? You know, to this? Did you have to go to the studio? Yeah. How okay. did you get it? There were different things. I had for a, a, a group called Vivendi. I did a uh, game. I played Hulk in a video game many, many years ago. Yeah. And then this, I think, I went in to do an audition for Thor, mm -hmm. uh, for Marvel. And I, uh, then they said, you know. Maybe he can it's try this, and they throw be... mm. they threw this at me, wow. and uh, I did a bunch of lines, and then yeah, and then the thing is, is you get one job, you don't know if you're, you you know you don't know if you're going to be Hulk next time. It's of just course. that one right, job, right. you, you know, move to the next, and so I've been very lucky to to have, you know, walked in his green feet. Uh, you know, a, lot, a few yeah. shows. You don't always. You know, sometimes yeah, I'm right. Banner, sometimes I'm not. Yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. I've been Hulk, uh, and then a couple of times not. You just never know, and yeah. so it's really been very lucky wow. to have. A, it's a blessing, and Absolutely. I just I, and I was a fan of this this creature since I was a little kid, so it was a big yeah. deal. Were you a fan of? Of Bill Bixby and that whole. Oh yes, Bill you know, Bixby and Lou, Lou Ferrigno. So did absolutely. you have like when you went in for that? Did you have kind of absolutely some? Yeah, I mean every and I and I love the animations. I, I was into the comic books. Mm -hmm. I was really geek nerd fan, and so uh, it was a big deal. Uh, and um, they each Hulk each banner has had an influence on on what I end up doing. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Well, including what? Lurch. So, yeah. so yeah. is the voice yeah. that you did on the audition the same voice that you that got that you did on the actual thing? Or? Uh, pretty much for that show. Let's okay. see. If we're going back there, we're talking about the Hulk versus series. Yeah. Uh, and so that was where he was much more of a beast. What did he much sound like then? Uh, he rarely spoke. Oh, okay. It's just like. Oh, oh, oh. Betty. I mean, like, like yeah, very, yeah, yeah. it blows your voice out, but yeah. in Hulk's incarnations, in the early versions, he's much more of a, an animal, savage right. Hulk. Mm -hmm. And then later on, he becomes more of the reluctant hero. Right. Yeah. Or doesn't want to be bothered. The key with Hulk doesn't. He well, just do wants to be. Well, you talk like that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, what be, I love he is he wants to be left alone. Don't. No, you. No, you <laughs> she can talk. It's okay. Get him, Hulk. Get him. That's no. So cool, dude. <laughs> no. Yeah. And, how the hell do you do that? I don't. That's my real voice. <laughs> the worst part is this is how I've been talking all my life. Lots of helium. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, it'd be great if I was like. <laughs> I've been playing Hulk for Hulk baby. about 10 years. <laughs> Hulk Hulk baby. It is a blast. It really is. You guys are great. <laughs> but no, 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 what but I love is that, you know, you've been him for so many different projects, whether it's a movie or a right. game or a show, but you've made him so much more than just a monster. And now, oh, like, try to. in Hulk and Agents of Smash, like, he has a heart, he has a humanity, yeah. and I mean, that's really beautiful that's how you can bring that out. Thank you for saying that. That's exactly what you try to do with this guy, is that at its at his core, or at least the way they went with it, Hulk's had many incarnations. Yeah. He's, there was a period with comic books where he got really bad and dark and, you know, yeah. ate yeah. people. I mean, he was scary. You know, And then yeah. there were, they kind of veered around and said, hey, if he's gonna be a hero, he has to have something good at heart and the key is that Banner yeah and it's funny in the show it was David Banner because they wanted to be yeah. Bruce Wayne but it's right. Bruce Banner uh, he um, Bruce Banner's a good guy and he wants good for the world so when you become a Hulk and many people become Hulks kind of your basic essence is exaggerated right so right. what you have is Hulk even though he's a savage guy most of the time his MO is he either wants to be left alone he doesn't forgive a slight in the old days, yeah. you know, yeah. Right. Yeah. he never forgets. And he really wants to, he ultimately wants to help people. He sees helpless people and yeah. actually wants to help them out. That's cool. Even if it's a, even if it's a puppy, you know, like yeah, it's like, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. He, you know, and, and nobody appreciates him because he's scary. Right. So mm -hmm. he has to now be okay with that. And so it's really been a great part for an actor because you have to, Go through all these incarnations yeah. of savage, being a child, being reluctant, leave me alone, to now it's like, yeah, it's okay, I can be part of a team, mm -hmm. kind of. And yeah. then really by Agents of Smash, he's like a father figure, he's a yeah. homunculer, yeah. he's trying to actually wow. Hulk's help. all grown up. Yeah, Hulk gets grown up, and he dies <laughs> in the series. Yeah. You know, in the, in yeah. the comic books, he becomes, he becomes more like Banner. He actually is building things by the end of his life. He's yeah. actually mm -hmm. a scientist again. But Maybe it's like, there'll be a Hulk wedding. Wouldn't that be wild? It'd be great. <laughs> Who do you think is the love interest for the Hulk? There's a few. Yeah, that's There's been a few. Imagine the Hulk yes. speech yes. at the He wedding. loved Betty, yes. you know, and he always seems to do very well with, uh, you know, with like Black, like later Black Widow, mm -hmm. uh, Wasp. You know, he, he actually does very well with uh, female characters. Not like, hey, how you doing, baby? But like, just just like he respects them. He yeah. respects women. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's actually Which is really... a very good lesson. He, yeah, no, he is. He's so that side of yeah. caveman that he's actually like, no, he's actually really peaceful at heart. He yeah. actually would desire... He loves to smash, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I mean, no, wrestling course. with a dinosaur that's the, that's is the his whole dream. Times there. Yeah. But um, he really is. I uh, mean, people want to hear him, Rawr! right? You exactly. Hear he, all that. And he is born to do that, but he also is really at heart. He's really kind of a. He would like to be Zen. Does Hulk have like a phrase that he's yeah. born for? Um, um, I enjoy. No. His, his <laughs> is, uh, well, generally, Hulk smash! Yes. Hulk strongest there is! They, those are big yeah. ones that are used a lot. Oh, that's yeah, cool, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Whole puny, event. whatever. You have a puny shirt. god, puny <laughs> human. You know, <laughs> puny. I'm feeling ennui. No, that's not yeah. one of them. Okay. Do you have a shirt that says Hulk Smash? I think so. I think <laughs> okay. I have a Hulk shirt that says I'm kind of a big deal. I think that's. I okay, did. that's even yeah, better. Okay. I love Wait, that. I have to know. Like, so when you were growing up, you know, was there a moment when your voice just suddenly went like bam? 
or like was it a yeah. gradual thing? I mean, what was? I think that? it was a gradual. Like... I think it was a gradual thing, but I, uh, I, uh, yeah, it was a gradual thing. I uh, there were there were things. Mm, I would say about thirteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thirteen. Because I remember I used to do really high voices. High, high. high. I still yeah. do, but like there were some that, right. and it just became more like. I was always much older. My voice was always much mm-hmm. older than I was. Mm-hmm. Yes, I can just... Uh, does your dad have a low voice, too? Yeah, he kind of does. Okay. Yeah. Actually, it's not bass or anything. Right. It's just, yeah. Yeah. Wow, man. Uh, yeah. That's so cool, and I love that you could do all these different things. So, yeah. back to auditioning real quick, because oh, okay. I want them to learn a little bit from you. Yes. Right? Fred uh, auditions, This is why we do everyone. the show, Fred. Okay. Um, so, so why don't you tell us okay. how, maybe your process, like when you get an audition, mm-hmm. do you, rec- you audition from your home? and also I, I sometimes, but mostly I go to places. Okay. I go to my agency, <laughs> I, I has a great, uh, my agency, CESD, you yeah, know. Awesome over there. Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 awesome, amazing. Awesome. So, so you, uh, you work very closely with Pat Brady. Yep. Yes. Pat Brady is, a, <laughs> is insanely great. Pat Brady. She's just the best. Yeah, we you love know. her. Hi, Pat. Okay. Hi, Pat. Hi, Pat. I love you. She's yeah. like my mom. Yeah, she's Kathy Lizio. Mom. Yeah. Kathy Lizio. And, and they're both they're just a wonder team. And then there's just like everybody else there. So so you go incredible. in there. And, I and you can, got an audition for something. I got to go. Happens? Well, okay. And then uh, and then those places. And then there's like voice caster I go to. And, you know, other places right, right. that can let me go in. Um Generally, you get the copy, hopefully before, you know, the night before, yeah. uh, and you get references, you read it. I love seeing the pictures, if they mm-hmm. can, give me something to look at as who, and, and it's the same old thing. Who are you? What are you? <laughs> you know, what do you want? What's the tone of the piece? That's something never, people don't talk enough about. Like, is this high comedy? Is it cinema, real, you know, verite? Mm-hmm. Is it, you know, what's the kind of piece it is? Right. And then you go in and you just, you lay down as, you know, you record with these booth directors that are just fantastic. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you, you try, you have to do it on your own, too. Yeah. Sometimes How you have to. How many takes do you go for? Um, I generally do, it depends, one to three. If I'm really feeling crazy, and I've been, like, they, uh, they asked me to be on this thing. Yeah. Sometimes you're a request, and they say, I try to give them, like, maybe four, if that's max. Mm-hmm. Right. Five, I feel like I'm going too far, but I'll do it. <laughs> Just showing off. Twenty. No, no, no. It's, it's you, the main thing is you have to make sure each one is really different. You are funny, man. I don't know. No, 20. you try to. I'm gonna just show up and give you everything. Yeah. No, it's like <laughs> all the try, voices he's ever done. <laughs> generally, pick one. generally three. Uh, you know, one to three, mm-hmm. and they better be different. Because there's somebody listening to this going, somewhere going, uh, okay, yeah, I will destroy you. I will destroy you. I will destroy you. Yeah. Mm, okay. <laughs> Next. I will destroy you. I will destroy you. I will destroy you. You know, you know and, yeah. and listen, same thing. Yeah, yeah. There's a casting director that has to, you know, yeah, do all that. Yeah. So you try to make it easy for them. Yeah. You know, um, uh, I slate sometimes, I slate straight, sometimes in character, or I'll say Fred Tattashore as you know, The Thing, or, you know, Ben Grimm. You know, I'll, yeah, I'll say yeah. my name in, in the, the thing yeah. and then try to, you know, give them one, two, and three, A, B, and C. Yeah. You know, a, a, and you know, hope. So, A, B, and C, there you go, there you have it. Do you think about it again, or you just like see it? I'd love to go. say I didn't think about it again, but I do. Mm. Uh, Pat Fraley says it's windshield wiper auditioning. You, you drive away, you know, yeah. Yeah. these are places where you actually use a windshield wiper. Yeah. You know, when you drive away and you're like, oh, I meant to do that. Oh, yeah. I'm mm-hmm. terrible about that. I go, oh, I finally get the joke. Yeah. I want to go oh, in and do this. I, know, I hate that. And you're, you're like, like oh. yeah, yeah, you know, you realize, oh, that's what they were going for. Oh. Yeah. And so, yeah. And yeah. then you still get the job. <laughs> <laughs> you get callback. Now, callback's a real important thing. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't realize it's like that's when they're trying to see if they can direct you. Ah. And that's like the yeah. key. Are you, can you be like Putty? Can you be like Clay in Do their hands? Do you have hands? any callback tips? Do yeah. you know yes. Uh, Give us your. This is good. Okay. Take out your pencils. Yeah. Take out your pencils. Yeah. The first one is number four. No. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, mainly you got to listen. You gotta, you gotta do your thing. If you like to improvise, okay, always do as written, okay? And if you like to improvise, put, give them a take of that. 
right. if you want to put something extra in. Mm -hmm. Give them scissor space, meaning give them a little space if they want to get rid of your yeah. joke. You know right. what I mean? Right. Now, right. now right. at the callback, would, would the director say, you know, hey, throw some extra stuff in yes. improvise a little bit? they might. Bit. Or if they don't say that, can they say, hey, can I do a take of just, can I add something? Because their most writers will be amenable to that. Okay. Not all. But as no. written first is always I would best. like, or even if you don't make that first, just make sure you do a take right. as just, as yeah. written. Yeah. And then you can mess around. Comedy, yeah. most drama you wouldn't be yeah. messing with. Now, uh, right. at that callback, mm -hmm. do you want to listen to your previous audition yes. that got you the call? Yes. But that's not always available. But that's not always I available. I like to know why you brought me in. What is it that you heard that got me here, so, so I got to make you, sure because I've given them A, B, and C before. Remember, yeah, right, right. so I didn't know if they went this guy, a, B, or this C. guy, or this guy. Yeah. You know, I got to know which 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 one they want. So do you, know? you you ask them that? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. And, and they, they go tell you. sit down. No, they no they. They, <laughs> they say we want all of them together. Yeah, do yeah. it. No. Uh, and uh, I do five voices at once. Yeah. That'd be great. We, God, can you imagine? Yeah, That's yeah. Frank Welker does that. Yeah. Has anybody ever said we actually hated all three? your take. Yes. But we really like something about your voice. Yes. 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 Yeah. Because well, they Vanessa know Marshall talked about how she got uh, from her a slate. from the slate. From a slate. So wow. they didn't like the yeah, actual They liked so. the, her slate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's interesting. That can happen yeah. too. Yeah. Vanessa Marshall. Da, da, da. You know, yeah. I slate as Vanessa Marshall sometimes. It's weird. Yeah. But, uh, I always get those when I slate as but, you. Right? Actually. As me? Yeah. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. good. And I hope you get work. Yeah. I, I call myself Little T. Little T, I like yeah. it. Uh, but yeah, um, no, you, you, they'll listen. Sometimes they'll say, no, we weren't great, but we think we know where you might go with this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe we can push you. So the key with the callback is be easy to work with. Take direction. Yeah. Listen. Be, like I say, like be like clay. You know, because yeah. you're all the instrument, you know, and like you have to be able to be having, a, you know, a conductor, a director. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. that's when they go, oh, I don't know if I can, he didn't seem like he was, um, you know, workable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's you, a big part. You've worked with, you know, all the best, Andrea Romano. Oh, my God. Know, Butch Hartman, all the, all the best. What are some things that maybe a director gave you that, that have stuck with you? Advice oh or just things that, you, that you've been able to apply? One, let's see, there's so many. That's a tough one for me, because I could write a book. You might want to look in your pad on Do you want to ponder? I'm going to look, maybe but I'll say one, one, one thing. Uh, a good friend of mine, Peter Hastings, said, uh, you know, which is, it's out there with, with people, is that don't try to be the next anything. Mm. Be you. Do, you're never going to be better than that other thing that you're influenced by, yeah. that actor, that writer. Just do your thing, you know, and, yeah. and make that alive. So a lot of directors and actors also influence me. Yeah. You know, when I look at, like, a guy like John DiMaggio and he takes something off the page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's no longer, he's not reading anymore, it's off the page. Things like that. So you learn what so that, much what from... What does that mean? Oh, that uh, making it your own words. I don't mean making up the word, but, like, right. you're no longer... You, one of the advantages of theater and on camera is that you've memorized those lines and you've made them your own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, especially in video games, not so much in TV or film animation, but you've been... You got the script the night before or the day of. And so you got to kind of, unless you're doing narration, it's okay to sound like you're reading. Mm -hmm. You can't sound like you're reading, but really make it like you are in that in moment, moment and yeah. that scene, it, those words are so natural to you. As if they were mm -hmm. memorized. Absolutely, right, as right. they are your own. I know yeah, that sounds so pedantic. It's like I heard that from a director. It's like, can you act like it's actually happening? In fact, <laughs> yeah. Ro Roger, <laughs> Roger Smith and I joke about that. I was like, can you just make, can you act like it's and you're in the scene, right? Yeah. Like yeah. it's happening? Yeah. That's, that's really the key, <laughs> though. It's strong. not just like, I will destroy you. And everything, you know, like it's right. you gotta, you gotta no, be, like how you're I will now, destroy you, and I'll make sure everything happens, you know, like, or whatever. It yeah, has yeah, to yeah. be off. It has to be something organic. To Although you. that sounded a little bit like you were reading. Oh, I boy. was actually bad acting. <laughs> no, that I'm was kidding. bad acting. Oh, no, we're gonna. Great. I will destroy you. <laughs> no, yeah. No. I uh, will. Great destroy tip. You. I will destroy you. No, um, but yeah. So you you try to 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 make it uh, get off the yeah. page. Um, other, a big thing for me, too, when I was starting off was i get so bogged down if I screwed up. Mm -hmm. You know, like if I did something and yeah. Andrea would say, don't apologize, just do the thing. Do you yeah. know, just like don't. Yeah. And I see a lot of people get tripped up. Totally. Because right. you do that. You're like, 
I will destroy. Damn it! Oh, I oh, like so no. Bad. Try it again. I know. I didn't mean to do that. What I meant to. to I know. Don't. And now the rest is blown. Don't. Just, don't. Sh- don't get yeah. into that story. How should you do that? Just. It's like baseball, the next thing. You're up to the next thing. Right. Don't yeah. think about... The last uh, swing. Don't, don't, because your your job is to just... We're all in the same boat. We're trying to make this thing happen. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you mess up, it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and try to make it right. You just shoot till it's the right note. Yeah. You know, it's just like music. In many ways, it's very much like, okay, let's play the right... Okay, right. I was a little yeah. fast on yeah. that. Let's get yeah. there. That's cool. And, and just kind of, you get zen about it and just get right to the point as opposed to like worrying about how it's coming off or, how, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's a great, great tip. I, I, people Love do it. that all the time, yeah. by the way. Speaking of music, uh, a little friend of ours and yours was a little here, friend? No. Was here uh, a little while ago, um, Phil Lamar. Ooh. Yeah. And he said, I love Phil. Phil is awesome. And he said, he said, (laughs) you have to, you have to ask Fred to do Jimi Hendrix for you. (laughs) So, all right, baby. You know, I mean, I love Phil. You know what I'm saying? It's all good, man. We're here with, we're here with Chuck and Stacy on VO Buzz Weekly. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. All right, now, you know, it's all good, baby. Oh, that's so good. Scooby Doo. Yeah. Where are you? (laughs) We're going to have some fun now. (laughs) Looking for Velma and her glasses. Oh my God! Right, I think I just peed. I'm gonna pick oh, I hope up. you didn't. Know. <laughs> Dude, that I'm gonna is pick so... up my purple haze mug. Oh, purple yeah. haze. That is so amazing. Oh, thank you, baby. So good, thank baby. you. He's one of my favorites. So yeah, he's your favorite. Um, uh, what, what are what are a couple of other amazing imitations? <laughs> oh God! That you, that here, you let's love. not put me on the love. spot. No, you're not on the spot. I'm on the spot. <laughs> no, Commander. I know what you're doing, Commander. No, um, <laughs> trying to do my Vader. That was account. good. That was thank good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, um, let's see. <laughs> Chuck Amazing. Loves well, yes, it. yes, James Earl Jones. Yeah, yeah. I don't give a damn. That Samuel Jackson I've had to do a few times. It's the okay. path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the tyranny of the selfish. You know, that whole thing. It yeah. was so good. And the iniquity of evil men. What's in your wallet, Samuel? <laughs> What's in your wallet? Mother. Margaret Ferber? <laughs> Margaret Ferber. <laughs> Martha Stewart. No, no, I, I love him. I have yeah. Sal so Jackson, good. great oh, actors. So good. Dude, uh, but you, I, you are have to try amazing. to do you have to do a lot of you know, voice matching. A lot yeah. of times, you know, I, Jeff Bridges is another Hey, hey. Oh, that's good. Let me hear that. Man, you, you know, it, it great to be here. It, yeah. It's all right. Earlier, you were saying that somebody told you to just be do your thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay? And that's 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 the way you're going to make it. Right. That's the way. Not copying somebody else. What's your thing? I'm going to have to look at that. Uh, <laughs> is it in your What is I'll my think. thing? Think. I'm thinking. <laughs> um, no. Uh, well, gosh. Meaning, um, what is it finding about- the heart of something, I guess. Uh, I, lo- I love chaos. I really do. I love just, uh, you know, uh, yeah. my my stand-up bits when I did comedy. It used to yeah. be just like, you know, radio, you know, keep type, to quite a pedal spot, a middle round, tap up, fly to Gibson. Farmer John, poor old, with or without you. I like, I I always like, like, just, that was from the 80s. No, but it was like, but like, I used to oh love to God. just like, I used to love just <laughs> random highs and lows yeah. and, and, um, no, and also trying to trying to get the heart of something. You know, yeah. if you're playing a monster, bring bring something to it. Yeah. You know, what's the humanity to it? Yeah. I guess. And I love that. I, 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 yeah, not trying to yeah emulate, yeah. but just yeah. And and you know what? That's cool because I really that's I can hear that. I can hear because every time we talk or even like when you know before we started doing our interview today and we were just chatting, you were going from like wah to like <laughs> bop. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it, but it still had heart. And I, all your stories are very genuine, animated yeah. and tr- genuine. Mm-hmm. I try. I mean. And you feel like I've just felt like uh, I felt like such a loser so much of my life, you know. And I, no, that's the silent yeah. violin, mm-hmm. you know. And a kid like a gray blob just trying to grow up. So yeah. I would just impersonate anything and be whatever I thought I was supposed to be. Yeah. And then finally, you're at a point. Like, it's like growing up like a shapeshifter. Yeah. And then yeah. finally, you're at a point where you're like, oh, I'm supposed to. Who am I? Yeah. Am I supposed right, to do something right. with this? Oh. Yeah. Make decisions for life and That's stuff. That's so cool. Yeah, no, well, you clearly, I mean, obviously the big, you know, in your games and your in the cartoons, I mean, you have those those big pipe characters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I get those a lot, too. Yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> um, but 
I'm uh, freaking uh, out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so Sarah, sweet. Right? Oh my god, no, I'm serious. <laughs> okay, friend, yeah. back to me. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. okay. Um, so, but obviously, I mean, you have, there's those moments, which I love, when you get to be subtle and you get to be soft. Oh, and I prefer mean, it. Yeah, so what What if, What if? don't people know about you? Like, what are a, maybe your dream character or things that you want to do you that you just don't said get? It. Uh, I, well, occasionally I'll get them. You know, mm-hmm. just something, just like regular f- folks, or uh, I, I, a lot of times I do get that, the tough exterior with a very uh, mixed uh, interior, <laughs> a little more, a little softer, yeah. bigger heart. Mm-hmm. I like things that add to humanity, not just destroy it. Yeah. Right. You get so tired of everything being dis- no, destruction, yeah. you know, everything mm-hmm. being like, I'm angry at the world. It's yeah. like, I get that, but let's, let's, let's push that. Let's take that anger and make it even... Mm-hmm. It, let's let's make it healing. Let's do something more with it. Yeah, that would be that would be really yeah. that's like kind of yeah. something I like. I like to push things to the next yeah. level. Do you ever see yourself writing or producing? I do. Yeah. In fact, I'm I'm kind of gone back to it as an animator. I'm, basically, I'm taking a lot of my stand up that I used to do, yeah. mm-hmm. and some music, and then some animation, and just trying to do more vocally driven stuff. Awesome. Just you know, I, I brought up my old sampler. From a thousand years ago, you have a sampler? yeah, I used to do sampling stuff on stage, yeah. nice. and it was fun, and it was like. But I'm trying now to 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 take monologues, and then I'm just going to try to uh, do different characters talking about mm-hmm. a, a subject. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's and cool. And that's in and with that. a bass line, and just that's that's kind of a dream job. But it's basically the way I look at it is been very lucky to be a session guy, and I'm just a session person that wants to kind of. Mm-hmm. Do my own stuff and don't worry about pitching it. Just do it. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But like well, I'm just you... loving where this job is mm-hmm. is where it's it's taken where I've been able to go with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then to reach out with people, I mean, you know, and not to sound silly, but like, you know, uh uh talking to fans, talking to kids. Yeah, where you the do a stuff, lot of cons. Yeah, doing yeah. a lot of cons yeah. and you know, uh, make a wish stuff, and it's like yeah. it's really great when you realize, okay, this actually reaches, it does mm-hmm. something, yeah. mm-hmm. as opposed to just you know, I'm great, you know, like that's yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. that's yeah. kind of like your your little give back, you, you know, know what I mean? mean? It's yeah. the only time they, they they're gonna get to like see one of their heroes or just get, it's an, and again, it's about the art too. It's like yeah. hey, no, we both a, are yeah. both fans of this, you know, when you say Hulk, it's like that's not just me, that's writers, that's animators, that's artists, that's so right. many people go into this thing. Yeah. Right. You know, you're just like one part of that. Yeah, I yeah. know, people lose sight of the fact it's not all about them. No. Yeah. But no. also, you know, as you know, you were saying growing up and I think, you know, whether you're a young kid or an adult kid, you know, you your characters and those they become your friends that you can count on and mm-hmm. uh, and you know those times people say all the time like oh it was I was having such a hard time and yeah you know and that must mean a lot to you. To, it does because I was the same way. Yeah. Yeah. I I was a fan and am a fan, mm-hmm. you know, a yeah. geek boy out on stuff. Yeah, yeah. it's has, crazy. Has there ever been uh, uh, maybe a situation in at one of those cons where you were face to face with somebody and they said something you know that you helped them heal whatever that made you almost teared you up or something like that that was touching to you? Oh man, any stories like that? We love those. <laughs> Walters here loves Barbara them. Walters. <laughs> Make no, wow. Well, let me let me think for a second. Yeah, there are, there are many of those. Really? Actually, yeah. I'm just trying to think of specifics. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, one one guy with severe autism that just really loved the work, and he was uh, making his own cartoons, making oh, really? his own comics, and they were pretty cool. Yeah. Wow. And to be able to look at that and go, yeah, he's like, this is this was a big you know, influence, and now I'm doing my thing, and I'm like, just go with it, go wow, for it. That's cool. uh, somebody else uh, uh, came up to me and said, you know, I learned English. This is kind of wild. Yeah. It, it was in in Africa. I learned a lot of them learned some English watching cartoons and doing the video games. Wow. And said, so, I'm like, I hope that was okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. like, thank God you knew <laughs> it. Like, did you do it? Did you really learn anything? Yeah. <laughs> But it's just, yeah, because you don't know people actually know your stuff. Yeah. You don't. Mm-hmm. Especially as a voice actor, you're so used to being anonymous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and, and anonymity, I, you know, I, I, I 
it's it's not oh it's not always great. I've been quoted as saying it's been great, but it's not right. right? Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like it, it kind of you know it's harder for the job you know yeah, to yeah, work yeah. out. Right. But it's um uh it's really it's amazing when people actually know the work and they go, yeah. oh yeah you really that it just makes you feel like I'm doing something mm -hmm. yeah. worthwhile working mm -hmm. in the arts. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of yeah. it's not, if you're doing it for the the money or whatever you you you're, you're going to hurt yourself. It's yeah. just going to be too hard. Absolutely. If you're doing it for fame or the money, yeah. don't because it's just going to you're just going to feel or, or or even an ego trip it'll mm -hmm. hurt you. Yeah. Was there <laughs> love the game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you have to love those auditions, don't yeah. you? I know. But was there ever a time when you know as you're paying your dues and coming up that you thought, you know, I don't really want to do this. It's not working for me. I, I I, I'm just discouraged or frustrated. Yeah, many times. Yeah, really? what stopped you from Well, that? I, because I, I don't have, I'm, I'm not qualified Did this happen else. in the last three months? It yeah. happened to me <laughs> yesterday. I was like, I'm done. I'm sick of the traffic. And nobody cares. No, I didn't do that. Um, uh, no, uh, yeah, many, when I started, it was a really hard, it was hard to break into yeah. business. And, um, what was, it was the what, thing? What getting you getting heard mm -hmm. cuz for example if i'm not around okay yeah. i've got 10 like i can mention 10 friends who are already in the business if you have five of those guys if you ha you know why do you need me right. they can cover everything yeah. you know why you know it would be the only reason they want you is like oh you bring a new energy a new a new like you say it's your own thing you right. bring mm -hmm. something completely new to it then or a new acting chop that somebody else, or a new right. range. Right. I mean, for years I was doing just, um, you know, utility playing, which is just, I play, you play 10 people. Yeah. You know, yeah. guard number two, you know, mm -hmm. I, I love working on the family guy because it's like, you're Bono, Mark Twain, and a toilet. You know, okay, all in one show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, like, okay, that's it. But yeah, you know, uh, and so I was doing that kind of work. That was a big break for me, the, the family guy thing. Yeah. Was a big, right. But um, yeah, you, you really, um, what was it that stopped you from oh, saying, I, I guess I'm for, not going to... Thank you for bringing that point gotcha. back to where I got your back, baby. Thank you. Um, it, I just felt like it's the... I love doing it so much. You couldn't. I you did couldn't. it for it's free. Yeah. And I just loved it so much mm -hmm. that you just kind of like... I feel like that's... Everything is hard. Yeah. You want to do anything. Yeah. It's like I, I, I love it when it's like I, I should be I should be somewhere else by now. I should yeah. be having a million dollars. No, no. There's, it's, it's hard to do... Anything. Sometimes you get a lucky break, mm -hmm. yeah. but uh, I had no other. You know, I didn't have a choice. I was like, I, I wanted to, to to do this so badly that That's it was cool, like man. I would have done anything to, you know, do it live. Fine, you know. He's never gonna quit. Yeah. So I quit. don't even think I'm about done. it. All you guys waiting to I'm take done. over. I'm done. Do no, it. no, take it. He's not. <laughs> Well, that was one hawk of a time. <laughs> We're going to be back next week with part two. Yes, we will. And keep up with us in the meantime on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And thank you always for watching, guys. We love you. And uh, just remember, what? You, you always, always got have time, time for a little, little buzz. buzz.